This is question number 18 of the grade 5 math practice test for T and Ready. This is subpart 2, so we are allowed to use a calculator here. May come in handy, may not. Susan collected 560 milliliters of rainwater on Saturday. She collected 3.5 liters of rainwater on Sunday. How many total milliliters of rain did Susan collect on Saturday and Sunday? So, in this case, we're analyzing how much she collected on two different days, so this really looks like an addition style question. I mean, if I were guessing. Also, the answer needs to be in milliliters, because it's easy to convert to the wrong um, unit and then have a problem with it. Now, that means we're going to keep the 560 milliliters as it is. I'm not going to mess with what's already working. Plus, I just need to adjust my liters. So, how do I do that? Now, if you don't remember the conversions for metric uh, liters in this case, these are actually on the uh, grade 5 10 ready math reference sheet. If I could actually get it on here, there it is. Um, one liter is equal to a thousand milliliters. So, what I'm going to do is say one liter. That's the worst L I've done in a while. Some things are easy to write on this little tablet thing, and some are not. In a thousand milliliters. Now, in order to convert 3.5 liters to milliliters, I would just multiply by a thousand. If I wanted to set it up in a conversion factor, since 3.5 liters is on top, and remember, I've said it maybe in another video, any whole number that you have can be made into a fraction by putting, making it the numerator um, with a denominator of 1. So 3.5 over 1. Now I'm trying to eliminate liters and turn it into milliliters. So when I have this conversion factor, I have two options. I can set it up like this, or, because this divided by this will give me 1, or I could set it up like this. Those are the same thing. And what I want to do is find the one that will eliminate, we're kind of like dividing. If you have 6 divided by 6, they go away and make 1, right? So we want to eliminate liters. So if I want, I have liters on top, that means I want liters on the bottom. And we're just going to multiply. So 1,000, oh sorry, 1 liter, sheesh, over 1,000 milliliters. These will cancel out. And since I'm allowed to use a calculator, why not? A calculator is just a tool, so if you use it appropriately, it's not a negative, but it's not going to solve all your problems either. So this gives me 3,500, or 3,500 milliliters. Now that I have that, I just add it up here. So I have Saturday's amount, Sunday's amount, they're in the same unit, so now I'm ready to combine them together. Since I already have this sitting over here, I'll just add 560, because addition is commutative, which means 560 plus 3500 is the same as 3500 plus 560. And it gives us 4,060 milliliters. So this is one of the few where you can add the numbers. Unfortunately, you can't add the numbers before you do your conversions. And if you have a conversion and you're not really sure what it is and you kind of forget, make sure to check your reference sheet. It doesn't get as much play as it should. People should probably look at it a bit more. And the majority of the math reference sheets for grade 5 is almost exclusively unit conversions. So you might as well use it when you have a chance. If you already know metric, it's not that difficult. Uh, you can go ahead and do it. Also, you may know that since you're multiplying, if you have it in liters and you need to uh, turn into milliliters, you multiply by a thousand. So if you didn't want to do the typing it out part, of course, since a thousand has one, two, three zeros, I can move this decimal point over one, two, three spot, fill in the gaps with zeros, and I still get my 3,500. Add it to your 560 to get your 4060. And that is the answer for this question. One more thing I wanted to add before I forgot. The big issue here is don't pick C because it has a six in it and it has a 4 in it. It's easy to pick C because it looks just like it. That's the kind of mistake you can't afford to make on the T and Ready test if you want to score well, or at all, period. Because it's going to make you look like you don't know. You did all the hard work. Get the correct answer. Just match it up. It takes about two seconds to make confirm that it matches your actual answer. 
and that way you get it correct. Because none of this will make any difference to the people grading it. They're only going to see what you circle. So don't waste time doing all this work and then make a careless mistake at the end. Be very careful.